Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to today's vlog. And for this episode, we are going to unbox and do my initial review of the Redmi Note 9S. One of the best smartphones you can pick up for less than 10,000 pesos or $200. Let's go! Now, before we get started with the unboxing and my feature of the Redmi Note 9S, I just want to do another unboxing of a new watch that I got just a couple of days ago. This is actually from the Vice Mayor of Pasig City, Mayor Iyo Christian Caruncho Bernardo. So what happened was I actually donated a couple of sneakers for their auction to raise funds for those affected by COVID-19. And he blessed me with this Seiko watch from his collection. He knew that I love Seiko watches, so I'm really touched that he thought about that. And I just want to share it with you guys. So if you pop the box open, it actually comes with a really nice note. And in this note, uh, the vice mayor says, thank you for the help. We appreciate it. A sneaker influencer with a big heart. This is a little token in addition to your Seiko collection. This is his batch watch from the Sal Green Hills. And it looks ridiculously awesome. I mean, guys, take a look at that watch. Amazing. So to the Vice Mayor of Pasig City, maraming maraming salamat po. I will always support fellow sneakerheads uh, who have a big heart and are trying to help as much as they can. So Vice Mayor, saludo po ako sa'yo. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to the sneaker, sneaker unboxing, to the tech unboxing. So we have the Redmi Note 9S. It comes in this particular box. If you pop it open, uh, and again, just like with most Redmi phones, kind of hard to open the box. Uh, by the way, this is the 6 gigabyte model with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. You have a packet, and inside the packet, you have the case, the pin ejector, all of the usual stuff. Now, obviously, the phone is missing because I have been playing around with it already. So how can I give you guys, you know, like a quick review if I don't use the phone, right? So this is the device itself. It's in the Aurora blue colorway, and we'll get to it in a bit. Now, if you take the rest of the box apart, you have a charger. This one, I think, is 22 watts, but the maximum of the phone is just 18 watts and that's just one of the problems that they have with the device and then you have a usb to usb c cable no earphones inside the box what i'll do for today's episode is i'll try to be as balanced as possible so what we'll talk about are my the five main things that i love about the phone and two things that you should watch out for so let's start with the five great things about uh, the redmi note 9s the first is the power that it brings to the table despite the price point it actually packs a 700 series chipset from qualcomm which is the 720g octa-core snapdragon processor and while that sounds like a lot of technical you know specs and numbers Ultimately, if you're going to play games, be it Mobile Legends, NBA 2K20, whatever game that you want to play, if you play around with the settings, you should have a very smooth gaming experience despite, and again, let me repeat that, despite the 10,000 peso price point, which is an amazing testament to how good this phone is. Because despite the price point, you can already have such an enjoyable uh, gaming experience. Now, apart from mobile gaming, all other applications, be it social media, photo editing, watching movies, were all smooth, of course, thanks to the 720G octa-core Snapdragon processor paired with the 6 gigabytes of RAM. The second thing to love about the Redmi Note 9S is the versatile 48 megapixel quad camera setup that you have over here at the back of the device. You have ultra-wide angle, you have macro, you have depth sensor, and you have the 48 megapixel high resolution shot should you want to take 48 megapixel shots. Now I played around with the camera and it was enjoyable to shoot portrait shots, photos of people in good lighting condition. I love taking macro shots of my watches or my toys. They all work really well, maybe because of the 48 megapixel sensor or camera uh, that it packs at the back. However, it does have a weakness when I did try taking a few shots in low light condition despite having a night mode it was still very noisy and grainy so that's just one of the apparent weaknesses of the camera setup third killer feature of this device is the battery life this phone 
packs a 5,020 milliampere battery. And that is just insane. So if you are looking for a phone that can go the distance, if you are looking for a smartphone uh, that won't die out on you in the middle of the day, then this is probably one of your best bets in this particular price point. What I'll do is I'll link down below a more detailed review of another tech reviewer that I follow so you guys can go over the screen on time and all of that stuff if that's your thing. But ultimately, it can last you the day. The only thing that will kill the battery is if you spend several hours doing gaming with 4G on. That will, you know, any phone cannot survive that for an extended period of time. The last feature that I am loving about this phone is the 6.67 inch display. It is just stunningly gorgeous. The bezels are thin, which allows for you to immerse yourself in whatever it is that you're doing in the phone, be it gaming, watching movies, you know, checking out social media. It's just a, a nice overall experience because of the massive real estate, the big surface. And I think I'm, I'm not complaining because I have big hands. And I'm not sure that will be a problem for people with small hands. But I have no issues with this 6.6 inch uh, display smartphone. I'm loving it. One of the reasons apparently why the quality of the images and the videos are nice is because this is the first time that the Redmi line of devices have the dot display technology of Xiaomi, which basically means I think I guess it's better resolution or better pop of colors. Uh, but ultimately, experience, nice. In terms of color options, you can get it on Aurora Blue, you can get it in Glacier White, and there is an option for interstellar gray. Let's talk about the cons to balance out the review. I have two major issues. Number one, I already talked about it, uh, which is the night mode performance. And number two, is that it takes a while to charge. I mean, you cannot expect to charge a 5,000 milliampere battery in 30 minutes. You cannot expect to charge it in an hour, especially if it's maximum 18 watts. You will need at least two hours to charge this device. I clocked in, I think, around two hours and 20 minutes or two hours and 30 minutes to get it from zero to 100%. So just make sure that it's stopped up when you get out, when you go out to the world in the morning. Because if, if you're going to try to charge it in the middle of the day, there's no fast charging, there's no 50% in 30 minutes, it takes a while. Now having said that, those are two non-deal breakers considering the price point. If you're after for a if you're after like a super well balanced phone that gives you a versatile camera uh, with a lot of features such as document mode, ultra wide, macro, a decent selfie sel selfie camera as well, uh, a phone that can deliver gr a great gaming experience as well as an all around you know phone for social media and stuff like that that won't break the bank. This is a really great uh, option. I mean, it, there there are cons like what I mentioned. But all around, it's it's a solid device. The value is just there. If you want to pick one up, the 4GB model will be on sale on Lazada for just 9,900 something pesos. I'll put a link down below and a link up here so you guys can go over to Lazada to buy it. It's just one day. So after that, I think they'll bump up the price. However, I would recommend that if you can afford it, that you go for the 6GB model of the phone. Uh, having 6GB is just a better way to future-proof your device, especially if you're gaming or if you're into heavy resource uh, applications. And that actually wraps up our unboxing and initial review of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. What do you guys think of the phone? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually thinking of trying to pick up several phones in the 10,000 to 12,000 peso price range and do like a comparison between the different device devices. What do you guys think of that? Do you want me to do that? Again, let me know in the description box. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're all okay and I pray that you all have a meaningful and restful weekend up ahead. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.